This video will contain spoilers for the ending of The Last of Us Part 2. If you haven't finished the game yet and don't want it spoiled, I suggest you return to this video once you have. Still here? Great! Let's talk about the bracelet theory. If you clicked on this video, you're probably familiar with the bracelet theory, which suggests that the ending of Tilu 2 isn't as dismal as it first appears. As many eagle-eyed fans have noted, Ellie isn't wearing Dina's bracelet when she goes to Santa Barbara, and it's not an item you can find inside her backpack. However, when she returns to the farm at the end of the game, she's clearly wearing the bracelet once more. This evidence, in conjunction with the fact that Ellie is unarmed, her wounds appear to have healed, and she's wearing different clothing and boots in place of her normal Converse tennis shoes, suggests that Ellie secretly reunited with Dina and JJ and Jackson before making a final trip to the farm to lay Joel's guitar to rest. I will say that Ellie's change of clothing and lack of weapons do seem to indicate that she stopped somewhere safe in between Santa Barbara and the farm. And of course, there's the matter of the injuries she sustained in Santa Barbara. Where did she get treatment for them? For that matter, where did she, Dina and Tommy, get treated for their injuries sustained in Ellie's first fight with Abby? But that's a whole other can of worms that I honestly don't have an explanation for. Although Naughty Dog's lack of detail concerning medical treatment is questionable, I don't think they would show Ellie wearing Dina's bracelet if Ellie simply walked away from Dina and JJ, never to see them again. And then of course there's the bracelet itself. I own this bracelet, and let me tell you, it is impossible to fasten without someone else's help. So maybe Ellie and Dina have reunited after all. In all seriousness, while I love the idea that this game has a secret happy ending, I don't think Ellie has returned to Jackson yet. Let me explain. In an interview with Kinda Funny Games, Neil Druckmann has said he doesn't know where Ellie goes after leaving Joel's guitar behind at the farm. He also said that co-writer Hallie Gross originally wrote a scene in which Ellie picks up one of JJ's toys after leaving the guitar behind. But Neil thought it would be too obvious that Ellie was going back to Dina and JJ afterwards. Instead, he wanted the player to decide where Ellie was going next. I'm not sure how much stock I put in Neil's statement. We all know he has a habit of deliberately misleading fans, as evidenced by the way he replaced Jesse with Joel in the now infamous release date reveal trailer. Regardless, he clearly wants fans to speculate before Part 3, assuming it's released, provides a more definitive answer. In the same interview with Kinda Funny Games, Ashley Johnson feels that Ellie is going off on her own, but notes they didn't discuss Ellie's next destination when shooting the final scene. I do think it's important to note this interview doesn't address the significance of Ellie wearing Dina's bracelet during the final scene, but not during her second fight with Abby. For a slightly more hopeful interpretation, let's discuss a question IndieWire asked co-writer Hallie Gross. Is there any chance Ellie can reconcile with Dina? To which Gross responds, In spite of all that Ellie's been through, I want her to find love, and support, and a community, and a sense of safety. Whether or not that's possible in the Last of Us universe, given how hostile it is, and how you can always lose people and the fragility of everything, I'm not sure. But I want that for her. Also, that baby is damn cute. Although this quote is far from confirmation of a happy reunion, it certainly doesn't rule out the possibility. Indeed, it's a much more positive response than I expected from the game's co-writer, given the somber tone of the ending. 
Then there's the matter of Ellie's journal entries pictured here. It's clear from these journal entries, as well as the fact that Ellie is wearing the bracelet, that she still cares about Dina and JJ. However, there's no clear evidence from these entries indicating she's returned to Dina and JJ yet. I think that if Ellie returned to Dina and JJ before the final farming scene, she would have included an entry about Dina's reaction upon seeing her alive after hunting down Abby one final time. Also, the ending of the game simply feels too somber for a reunion to have occurred yet. The farm is completely desolate, and the way Ellie sighs upon entering seems to indicate regret over leaving Dina and JJ behind. As much as this ending devastated me, I'm grudgingly starting to see why Naughty Dog chose it. It's clear that Neil Druckmann and co. wanted players to speculate what happens to Ellie next, as well as show us that in seeking revenge, Ellie lost her ability to play the guitar and thus her connection with Joel. And she seemingly lost Dina and JJ as well. However, I think it's very important to remember that Dina and JJ are still very much alive. Unlike Abby, who has no hope of reuniting with Owen, Ellie still has a chance of happiness and reconciliation with Dina. Furthermore, if Dina decides to forgive Ellie, it would be thematically consistent with the way Ellie chooses to begin the process of forgiving both Joel and Abby. Next, as far as we know, Ellie doesn't have ties to any place besides Jackson at this point. As she mentions in part one, Everyone I have cared for has either died or left me. Additionally, Ellie and Dina have been friends for years before they became a couple, as evidenced by Ellie's journal entries from the museum flashback. I firmly believe that if Ellie can begin the process of forgiving both Joel and Abby, Dina can do the same for Ellie. Lastly, let's not forget the note from Jesse's mom saying there will always be a place for Dina, Ellie, and JJ and Jackson if they change their minds. The door is open for Ellie. She just has to take the next step on her road to healing. In conclusion, I believe that although Ellie hasn't gone back to Dina and JJ yet, it's still very realistic to assume she will return to them at some point. Like Joel, I believe that Ellie will slowly heal from her trauma and survivor's guilt through her relationships with others, in Ellie's case with Dina and JJ. It makes sense to bring Ellie's arc full circle from child to parent. Also, I think it's interesting to remember that when Joel was first entrusted with looking after Ellie, he too was reluctant to assume a parental role. I think that in both cases, we will see characters initially refusing the call to parent only to accept that call later on and subsequently heal. But these are just my thoughts. Let me know what your thoughts are about the bracelet theory in the comment section below. <laughs>